play sessions now so not too big a serious focus on anything just see what we can do have some fun um, I'm going to take here and then I'm going to attack here And then I'm going to attack here, am I? Yeah. Ooh, I see. They play that play it like that, do they? But that pawn was protecting this um, bishop. Maybe it gets it back somehow. Hmm, so what is the fun time here then? Here, getting these two off of that line somehow. Queen here. Maybe we can put a check on her okay. and then just attack this pawn or something, attacking the rook. Mind you, the knight will come and defend, won't it? Yeah. King's down, attacking the bishop. <laughs> so his king can get the bishop and the knight if we go here. Looking to get his rook, his king takes the bishop. Is there something better? Knight goes here. Knight takes. Bishop takes. No, that don't look good. Maybe just move the bishop out of the way, maybe. Just bring it back. Unfamiliar territory. Let's go. Not got these developed yet either, so the fun time we're having, it's almost like a nightmare time. <laughs> I thought they would have thought, brought the knight out actually, because we've got a check on the king here, so we still win the rook. But I suppose his king can come down and attack our knight. I was trying to avoid doing an exchange, but at least he only gets one this time instead of the bishop and the knight. Although the knight can still jump here, can't it? So then the queen's protecting the rook. Yeah, so he's come down for the knight. Is there, any, is there anything different, better? Oh, do you know? Let's. Does the queen get trapped? I don't see the trap, but he just quickly snapped it up. Let's take here. here with the check so 
So the Queen can't do stuff by itself. We've always said this, so we need to start developing our pieces. Or oh, castling even first. Let's just castle. Knights attacking. Let's put a check on. And maybe not that way. Let's attack the knight. Conscious my queen's doing a little bit too much work, but there seems to be spaces afford, um, afforded for it at the minute. Open up this dark square bishop. Once the knight moves, queen come in here with a check. Let's go with the check. There's probably only one space for it to sort of go to. Magic can go here to avoid a check from the discovered bishop check. back again okay let's capture these unusual quirky games I think are what really have helped me um, sort of develop my game up to where I'm up to you know I'm no high level type thing but it's improved the quality of my games playing these quirky type of players because sometimes they can come out with some absolutely fantastic maneuvers that you'd never even thought of you know and sometimes they can play um, a little bit like this a little bit scatty but it does it's really weird how it does work so We've got a check on the king with the pawn. It does actually capture. So then we just put another check on. Like I say, look at that quirky type movement there. He's not giving up. Still fighting away with his odd play. And he's avoided any checks from... Just hold on a minute. Before I do that, let's get close in. I'm trying to get that discover check with the dark square bishop armor. And it looks like that's the only place it can go. So then I think we can maybe, I don't know, try and do some combination work. Right, so we get that. So now we'll open up the dark square bishop. Now he's gone across, so we can put a check on here with the king. Queen, sorry. Bishop's covering that angle. He can only come down here. So it looks like it's going to be checkmate. Oh no, whoa, no, don't be silly. Queen going here. He's got his queen protecting that square. Yeah, so it's going to have to be the pawn. Queen's protecting this square. Bishop's the only thing that can come. And then if we capture with this pawn, his king takes. And the queen can come down a little bit to here. And it still moves back. Just don't want to rush this one. So king takes. Queen comes to here with a check and a mate. No, he's still got this square here. Okay, so the rook can do something. So the check. <coughs> and then that would be mate. Yep, interesting. I'd say to anybody, play somebody who does some quirky stuff. Um, let's just see how quirky it was, though. Maybe it's just me thinking it was quirky. Or... So we opened up. Just wanted a fun game, and we decided to actually take the 
normally classed as the poison pawn um, if played correctly opponent captured so then we started putting pressure on the area decided to go for the pawn and then they released the pawn that protected the bishop so that gave us a slight advantage and then they developed the knight out not protecting the king area and not really doing anything to protect the king so we tried to take advantage by <clears throat> these constant checks his king is out in the open so a king out in the open like that really shouldn't survive but you have to be careful still because I have seen some very weird stuff from people that play just like this so he brought it back yeah so a king out in the open you should really be able to punish them but it really is about finding the right position rather than the fast move 